Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another video from me. And today I thought it'd be really fun to kind of, as we're coming towards the end of the year, look back and talk about my top kind of investment luxury buys. Not necessarily from this year. So I've called it 2020 because it's 2020 edition. But rather than focusing on just things that I've got this year, though quite a few of them are this year's purchases i've picked my top five pieces that i think are great investments for your wardrobe and like my top investment pieces full stop um so it's not necessarily just things i got in 2020 it's overall so before i actually get into the video i just wanted to let you know that uh, i was kindly gifted a voucher from farfetch to purchase one of these items or a few of these items actually looking back um though obviously as i said they're not all this year um and i have got a discount code um to share with you guys uh, so if you want to buy any of the things that are in this video or anything else from farfetch then just use the code ff sinead 10 and that will take 10 percent off now you do need to be a new customer to use this so if you've got an existing account it won't work just set up a new account guys you can just set one up. I set one up for my dog, set one up for my mum. Like everyone I know has got an account at Farfetch and they just don't know about it. Um, so yeah, just set up a new account and then you'll be able to use discount code, which is amazing. Now, if you didn't already know about Farfetch, it's an amazing way to support small businesses. Now there are some big businesses on there too, um, but the main reason and kind of concept of Farfetch is that it's kind of like a, it, say I was a small business and I had a little boutique in Stamford where I live and I sold a designer items rather than going to the effort and expense of creating my own website I could just upload my stock onto the Farfetch website so you might be looking at um, some Golden Goose trainers for example and there might be one size from Italy, one size from London, um, they might be coming from different stores. Um, so it's a really amazing way of supporting these small independent boutiques, um, but easily being able to search everything in one place rather than having to like go to all the different individual websites. Uh, and also the best thing about that is that um, it's really great for say something that's sold out in loads of other places or something you can't get hold of or something that's a bit more rare and unique. Um, you're more likely to find it on Farfetch because there might be a small boutique in Italy in the middle of nowhere that has one of this bag that you've been looking for or it just has your size of these trainers um, which is amazing. So that's a really good reason of why I love Farfetch. Great for finding those unique finds and also for supporting small businesses. They also do uh, pre-loved items now so you can get some amazing vintage items from some amazing brands. It's definitely worth having a browse on there too. So I'm going to stop blabbering on and get on with the video and I'm going to show you my first key investment piece that I am loving um, and I think is just an absolute wardrobe staple um, and it's the first thing it's the most recent thing I got so I'm going to talk you through and work backwards so I'm going to talk through the things that are newer and work backwards and um, to show you guys um, and the first thing is the most recent thing that I got and this was a kind gift from Farfetch and it is the Balenciaga um, hourglass bag now when I say kind gift they kindly gifted me a voucher towards something from the site and I picked out this because this is something that's been on my wish list it is something that I think is an investment piece I mean even Jack likes it and he rarely likes my pieces that I get so um, that's like a big thumbs up but as he said it is just such a classic style it's timeless it's kind of like it looks smart, but it's not too, like, businessy. Like, I really loved the YSL sack du jour, and I got it, and I ended up not using it because I just felt like it was too smart for someone like me. Whereas I feel like this is kind of smart, and it's got that look, but it doesn't look too, it's not too, like, businesswoman-y, um, which I love. And it's just got that really cool shape to it. It's really popular at the moment, but I personally don't see this style going anywhere. This is a smaller size. I will link the bigger size as well. I personally wouldn't go any smaller than this, so they do do it smaller. Um, I think this is the best size, in my opinion, obviously, because that's the way I got it. Um, I can fit loads in here. I fit my purse, my card holder, my glasses, my lipstick, my phone, 
what else do I need, honestly? Um, and it has got a detachable crossbody strap too, which is adjustable, so you can fit it to wherever you like. It looks really nice on the shoulder, crossbody, just handheld like this. I love it. And the best thing about it is that where they clip on, where the long crossbody strap clips on, um, it's just it lays really nicely and flat and just blends in perfectly so when you are using it just as a handheld it doesn't look weird do you know what I mean there's no like big loops hanging off um which I love it's got a magnetic fastening um it's got a zip on the inside um bit on the back I'm gonna probably do a video just dedicated to this bag and how to style it because when I was um thinking about getting it I had a look on Instagram and like Pinterest and stuff and had a real search around of like how people style it and I honestly realized that this bag goes with everything even though it's a smart style I wore it I'll put a picture in with like a puffer jacket and leggings and I felt like it looked really cool and it just kind of elevated the look so I do feel like it's something that um, as I said, elevates your look and it's something that you can wear with really casual outfits or it could be a business bag if you wanted it to be like a smart business lady bag or equally just imagine it with like simple little black dress like, I just think it's something that you can dress up or down so I'm going to stop blabbering on because the video is not just about this bag but this is my first um, investment buy that I just think is amazing so the next two I actually got uh, different at the same time. Um, so the next one is my Prada Derby shoes. Now I talked about these in my autumn winter investment buys, which I will also link below. Um, and it is still relevant to me. They're still a key investment buy. I haven't actually had a chance to wear them as much as I wanted to because we went into a second lockdown. Um, but I'm hoping that now that that has lifted, I'll get a chance to wear them a lot more. Um, but I love these shoes. Um, I spoke about it in my autumn winter investment buys, how an investment buy for me might be different for you guys, um, depending on your style and what you wear. I've just realised like the colour difference between my face and my hand. Um, but for me, I love a chunky shoe. I love chunky boots. I wear them all the time. Uh, and I've been looking at these and the monolith boots, which I'll also link below. Um, and I thought that they were both amazing investment buys. But I went for these because I have so many high street chunky boots. Um, and though I probably will end up investing in some uh, designer chunky boots because I wear them so much, just wanted something to bring something different to my wardrobe. And I'd seen these styled up really nicely with um, black ankle socks and they almost look like chunky boots. I just thought they were a really good piece to add to my wardrobe. Um, and I'd seen quite a few people style them and really loved them. I just thought they were a kind of classic style that I knew I would get so much wear out of because I'm a real flat shoe wearer um, and these are just so good and also these had I should mention I waited and these had been around for a couple of years which is why I knew they were going to be a great investment buy so another bag that I picked up this year a couple of months ago um, is this Stoud moon bag I think it's called and I picked this up because I just thought can you go wrong with brown suede so again this was featured in my autumn winter investment buys because I do think that this style is a real great one for autumn winter brown suede just goes so lovely with all these chunky neutral knits and layers for autumn winter but equally I thought it was a piece that I would wear all year round I can see myself wearing this with floaty white summer dresses with jeans and a t-shirt just I feel like it's going to go with everything uh, I really love the style I love the kind of um it's almost like a croissant which I kind of love because I love croissants um and yeah it's, it's quite small but you can actually fit so much in here like the Balenciaga bag I think I think that there's a lot of small bags that can kind of looks are deceiving um again it's got a crossbody strap so you can wear it crossbody um which gives that completely different look um and again the it's really easy to detach and attach this uh, crossbody strap and the um little tag bits are hidden nicely on the inside so when you're holding it like this you can't see that it has um the option for crossbody which i think is really nice and um, they do do this in a bigger size too uh, i just really liked this little kind of mini bag because i wear loads of mini bags and smaller bags and i don't tend to carry a lot around with me um and what i do carry around like my vlogging camera my phone my card holder purse lipstick keys 
will all fit in here quite happily. So next we're moving on to clothing and this is the only piece of clothing that I have to feature in this video um, because I don't buy a ton of luxury clothing and designer clothes because I feel like um, accessories to me are more of investment buys because they don't they wear much better and they also seem to kind of stick around they don't uh, go in and out of fashion as much however this is a piece that I have bought a couple of pieces of I've bought it in two different colors and it's a designer piece so I feel like that alone speaks for how much I think this is an investment buy and it is my acne jumper now I did feature this in one of my other videos and someone was asking for the direct link for this exact colour. Now I bought both of these on sale a couple of years ago um, so they are not like current colours but this style is a classic style that they always have in so I will link the style um, and they have it in like black and khaki and some other colours for this year. So it's a classic style but they just do different colourways every year. Um, but this is my acne jumper. I think it's called the dramatic neckline or something. But it's called different things on every site. But it's just a really kind of simple, I think you call it a crew neck jumper. It's got this really like soft, fluffy knit, which is so beautiful. It looks expensive. It is so soft and comfortable. I literally live in these jumpers around the house. I definitely shouldn't because they're a designer. But it's just impossible not to because they're so comfortable. Uh, and I really do think it speaks volumes that I have bought the same jumper in two different colours because it's just such a classic style. And um, as I said, I don't buy a ton of designer clothing, um, but these pieces I just couldn't pass up on. Then finally, we're moving back on to footwear and I have two examples of one piece to show you. So I'm kind of cheating here. It's kind of like number five and five and a half. Um, and it is my Golden Goose trainers. Now, I love Golden Goose trainers. I think that they are the best designer trainer investment buy. Honestly, they are the comfiest trainer I have ever worn. I'm not even lying. They are so comfortable and they go with everything. They are such a cool classic style. They kind of remind me of like Sincerely Jewels and that kind of classic Cali girl look. I think that they make any outfit look perfect and finish it off. Um, I do go through phases of like sometimes I'll wear them all the time. Sometimes I won't wear them as much. But this is a shoe that I... A, would never get rid of and B, would always buy more of because I think that they just do not go out of style. Um, so I do actually have four pairs of these, which is an example of how much I love them. Um, so I started with, I've just got two pairs to show you. I've started with the classic style. Um, they come looking distressed. Mine are looking a bit more distressed. Um, but they come looking distressed, which is also amazing because then you don't have to like worry about babying them or like... When you, you know when you go out for the first time in your new shoes and you're like, oh, I've got a mark on them. That doesn't happen with Golden Goose. Uh, as I said, they're so comfortable. Um, these have just got the classic, I've got the blue at the back and then the classic star. They're the superstars. These are the style that I like the best. Um, and then I also have them in the kind of pony skin, um, which is another really classic style. I'm not a huge fan of prints and things, but I just loved these because I feel like Leopard is a neutral to me and they look great um, with like autumn winter outfits as well as spring summer but for autumn winter I think these look perfect um, so I just wanted to show you those two because I feel like they are quite different styles of the same, sh the same style but they're quite different versions of it um, and I love them both equally so I couldn't decide which ones to show you guys. So those are all of my investment buys. Remember that you can get 10% off anything that I mentioned in the video and anything else on Farfetch with the code FFSinead10. You just have to make sure that you are a new customer. So it doesn't work if you've already got an account, just to clarify that. Um, I would love to hear what your guys' investment pieces are. I was gonna actually uh, tell you like what's on my wish list at the moment, but I feel like top of my wish list was 100% the Balenciaga bag. And now that I got it, I feel quite satisfied. There is one thing that I've been eyeing up on Farfetch that I really love, and it's these Burberry, Plimsoll, Converse trainers, 
I don't know what you call them, but I love them and they kind of remind me of the Dior ones that everyone has, but they're slightly different, so I feel like there's something a bit more unique about them. I love the logo, I love the um, branding on them, and I just think they're a really nice, simple style, very neutral. I'll wear them summer, winter, um, and also they are like £310, which is a great price. So yeah, that's like top of my wish list now that I've got the Balenciaga, but I would love to hear what's on your guys' designer wish list. Are you hoping for something for Christmas? Are you going to treat yourself? Maybe I should get the Burberry um, trainers as like a Christmas present to myself, because um, I feel like self-gifting should definitely be a thing, especially with the year that we've all had. I mean why not um but thank you so much for watching um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye